Question 1. At an intersection with a four-way stop, which driver can go first? A. The driver who stopped first. B. The driver on the right if both arrive at the same time. C. The driver with the largest vehicle. Answer. A. The driver who stopped first. The first vehicle to stop at the intersection has the right of way. If two vehicles arrive at the same time, the driver on the right goes first. Question 2. What should you do if your vehicle begins to skid on ice? A. Brake hard and turn the steering wheel in the opposite direction of the skid. B. Take your foot off the accelerator and steer in the direction you want to go. C. Accelerate and steer in the opposite direction of the skid. Answer. B. Take your foot off the accelerator and steer in the direction you want to go. This helps regain traction and control of the vehicle. Question 3. What is the minimum following distance you should maintain from the vehicle in front of you? A. 1 second for each 10 km per hour of speed. B. 2 seconds under ideal conditions. C. 3 seconds in poor weather conditions. Answer. B. 2 seconds under ideal conditions. This provides a safe distance for reaction and stopping. In poor weather, increase the distance. Question 4. True or false? It is permissible to exceed the speed limit when passing another vehicle. Answer. False. Exceeding the speed limit is illegal, even when passing. Question 5. When are you required to use your headlights? A. Between 30 minutes after sunset and 30 minutes before sunrise. B. In fog, snow, or heavy rain. C. Both A and B. Answer. C. Both A and B. Headlights must be used during low visibility conditions and between the specified times. Question 6. What should you do if an emergency vehicle with flashing lights is approaching from either direction? A. Continue at the same speed. B. Pull to the right side of the road and stop. C. Speed up to clear the way quickly. Answer. B. Pull to the right side of the road and stop. This allows the emergency vehicle to pass safely. Question 7. What does a flashing red traffic light mean? A. Stop and proceed when safe. B. Yield to traffic and pedestrians. C. The traffic light is out of order. Answer. A. Stop and proceed when safe. A flashing red light is treated as a stop sign. Question 8. When is it legal to make a right turn on a red light? A. After coming to a complete stop and ensuring it is safe to proceed. B. When there is a sign permitting it. C. Both A and B. Answer. C. Both A and B. You may turn right on red only after stopping and ensuring it is safe, and if there is no sign prohibiting it. Question 9. When parking uphill with a curb, which way should you turn your wheels? A. Away from the curb. B. Towards the curb. C. Straight ahead. Answer. A. Away from the curb. This ensures that if the vehicle rolls, it will roll away from traffic. Question 10. True or false? It is mandatory to stop for a school bus with flashing red lights, regardless of the direction you are traveling. Answer. True. It is mandatory to stop for a school bus with flashing red lights in both directions unless there is a physical median dividing the road. Question 11. What is the purpose of a diamond-shaped traffic sign? A. To indicate a school zone. B. To indicate a yield. C. To warn of possible hazards or changes in traffic conditions. Answer. C. To warn of possible hazards or changes in traffic conditions, diamond-shaped signs are warning signs. Question 12. How should you react to a traffic signal that has a steady yellow light? A. Speed up to clear the intersection quickly. B. Come to an immediate stop. C. Prepare to stop if it is safe to do so. Answer. C. Prepare to stop if it is safe to do so. A steady yellow light means the light is about to turn red. 
Question 13. What does a white painted curb indicate? A. Loading zone. B. Short stops permitted. C. No stopping at any time. Answer. B. Short stops permitted. White curves typically indicate areas for short-term loading and unloading. Question 14. True or false. You should use your high beams in foggy conditions to see better. Answer. False. High beams can reflect off the fog and reduce visibility. Use low beams instead. Question 15. What is the safe distance to park away from a fire hydrant? A. 3 meters. B. 5 meters. C. 10 meters. Answer. B. 5 meters. Parking too close to a fire hydrant is illegal and can obstruct emergency access. Question 16. If two drivers arrive at an uncontrolled intersection at the same time, who has the right of way? A. The driver on the left. B. The driver on the right. C. The driver who is driving faster. Answer. B. The driver on the right. This rule helps prevent confusion and potential collisions. Question 17. When approaching a roundabout, what is the correct procedure? A. Yield to traffic already in the roundabout. B. Enter at any speed as you have the right of way. C. Stop before entering the roundabout. Answer. A. Yield to traffic already in the roundabout. This ensures smooth traffic flow and reduces the risk of accidents. Question 18. What does a solid white line on the road indicate? A. Traffic traveling in the same direction. B. Traffic traveling in opposite directions. C. Lane changing is allowed. Answer. A. Traffic traveling in the same direction. A solid white line typically indicates lanes traveling in the same direction and discourages lane changes. Question 19. True or false? Using a handheld device while driving is permissible if you are at a red light. Answer. False. The use of handheld devices while driving is illegal, even when stopped at a red light. Question 20. What is the legal blood alcohol concentration, BAC? Limit for fully licensed drivers in Saskatchewan? A. 0. 5%. B. 0. 8%. C. 0. 0% 0 for newly licensed drivers. Answer. B. 0. 8%. However, newly licensed drivers must maintain a BAC of 0. 0 0%. Question 21. What is hydroplaning? A. Skidding on snow. B. Losing tire traction on water and losing control. C. Braking too hard on a dry surface. Answer. B. Losing tire traction on water and losing control. Hydroplaning can occur during heavy rain when water accumulates on the road. Question 22. What should you do when you hear a siren or see flashing lights of an emergency vehicle? A. Slow down and keep driving. B. Pull over to the right and stop. C. Speed up to clear the lane. Answer. B. Pull over to the right and stop. This gives the emergency vehicle a clear path. Question 23. True or false? You are allowed to pass another vehicle on the right. Answer. False. It is illegal to pass on the right unless there are multiple lanes or the vehicle is turning left. Question 24. In Saskatchewan, during what hours is it mandatory to have your vehicle's headlights on? A. Between sunset and sunrise. B. Between 30 minutes after sunset and 30 minutes before sunrise. C. All of the above. Answer. C. All of the above. Headlights help increase visibility and must be used when it's dark. Question 25. When is it legal to drive over a fire hose? A. When a fire department official signals it's okay. B. In an emergency situation. C. Never. Answer. A. When a fire department official signals it's okay. Otherwise, it is illegal to drive over a fire hose. Question 26. 
What should you do if you encounter a traffic light that isn't working? A. Proceed with caution. B. Treat it as a four-way stop. C. Wait for it to be repaired. Answer. B. Treat it as a four-way stop. This helps maintain an orderly flow of traffic. Question 27. If you are driving and start to feel drowsy, what should you do? A. Turn up the music and continue driving. B. Pull over and take a rest. C. Open the window for fresh air. Answer. B. Pull over and take a rest. Driving while drowsy can be as dangerous as driving under the influence. Question 28. True or false? It is okay to make a U-turn at an intersection with a traffic signal. Answer. False. U-turns are typically prohibited at intersections with traffic signals unless indicated otherwise. Question 29. What does a flashing yellow traffic light mean? A. Stop. B. Proceed with caution. C. Yield to oncoming traffic. Answer. B. Proceed with caution. A flashing yellow light indicates that you should slow down and be prepared to stop if necessary. Question 30. Who has the right of way when a pedestrian is crossing at a crosswalk with no traffic control signals? A. The pedestrian. B. The vehicle. C. Whoever arrives first. Answer. A. The pedestrian. Pedestrians have the right of way at crosswalks without traffic signals. Question 31. What does a green arrow showing with a red light mean? A. Proceed in the direction of the arrow with caution. B. Stop and wait for the green light. C. Yield to all oncoming traffic. Answer. A. Proceed in the direction of the arrow with caution. The green arrow allows you to proceed in the indicated direction, but be aware of other vehicles and pedestrians. Question 32. True or false? It is legal to park in front of a public or private driveway. Answer. False. Blocking a driveway is illegal and can prevent vehicles from entering or exiting. Question 33. When approaching a railroad crossing with flashing lights, what should you do? A. Speed up to cross before the train arrives. B. Stop, look, and listen for a train before proceeding. C. Continue at the same speed. Answer. B. Stop, look, and listen for a train before proceeding. Always give way to oncoming trains. Question 34. What is the legal limit for tint on the front side windows of a vehicle in Saskatchewan? A. 35%. B. 50%. C. 70%. Answer. B. 50%. Tinting beyond this limit can obstruct the driver's view and is illegal. Question 35. True or false? In Saskatchewan, it is legal to drive barefoot. Answer. True. There is no law against driving barefoot, although it is not recommended for safety reasons. Question 36. What is the minimum tread depth for tires in Saskatchewan? A. 1. 6 mm. B. 2. 5 mm. C. 3. 2 mm. Answer. A. 1. 6 millimeters. Driving with tires below this tread depth can be unsafe. Question 37. When parallel parking, how close to the curb should your vehicle be? A. Within 30 centimeters. B. Within 50 centimeters. C. Within 75 centimeters. Answer. A. Within 30 centimeters, parking too far from the curb can obstruct traffic and is not permitted. Question 38. True or false? You must always stop for a school patrol arm or flag. Answer. True. It is important to stop for school patrol signals to ensure the safety of children crossing the street. Question 39. When are you allowed to drive on the shoulder of the road? A. To pass another vehicle on the right. B. When the vehicle in front of you is turning left. C. It is never legal to drive on the shoulder. Answer. C. It is never legal to drive on the shoulder. The shoulder is for emergencies, stopping, or for use by emergency vehicles. Question 40. 
What should you do if you are involved in a collision where there are no injuries and the total damage to all vehicles is less than $2,000? A. You must stay and report the collision to the police. B. You can exchange information with the other driver and leave. C. You should leave the scene immediately. Answer. B. You can exchange information with the other driver and leave. If the damage is minor and there are no injuries, you can exchange information and report the collision at a later time. Question 41. True or false? It is permissible to use your cell phone while driving if you are using voice commands or a hands-free device. Answer. True. While handheld use is prohibited, hands-free use through voice commands or devices is permitted. Question 42. When driving in a lane marked with a diamond symbol, who is allowed to use this lane? A. Any vehicle with more than one occupant. B. Bicycles and motorcycles. C. Buses and high occupancy vehicles. Answer. C. Buses and high occupancy vehicles. These are typically reserved for high occupancy vehicles to promote carpooling. Question 43. What does a yellow sign with a black cross indicate? A. Pedestrian crossing. B. Railway crossing ahead. C. Hospital nearby. Answer. B. Railway crossing ahead. This sign warns drivers of an upcoming railway crossing. Question 44. True or false? If you approach an intersection with a broken traffic light, you should treat it as a yield sign. Answer. False. A broken traffic light should be treated as a four-way stop, not a yield sign. Question 45. And what blood alcohol concentration, BAC, is a newly licensed driver considered to be driving under the influence in Saskatchewan? A. 0. 2%. B. 0. 5%. C. 0. 0 0%. Answer. C. 0. 0 0%. Newly licensed drivers must maintain a BAC of 0, 0 percent. Question 46. When encountering a funeral procession, what should you do? A. Join the procession to pass through traffic signals. B. Overtake the procession. C. Yield and do not interrupt or join the procession. Answer. C. Yield and do not interrupt or join the procession. It is respectful and often legally required to allow the procession to proceed without interruption. Question 47. What should you do if you miss your exit on a highway? A. Stop and reverse on the highway. B. Proceed to the next exit. C. Make a U-turn at the next emergency vehicle turnaround. Answer. B. Proceed to the next exit. It is unsafe to reverse or make a U-turn on a highway. Question 48. True or false? When making a left turn, you should always yield to oncoming traffic. Answer. True. When making a left turn, you must yield to oncoming traffic and pedestrians. Question 49. What is the minimum safe distance when passing a cyclist on the road? A. 0. 5 meters. B. 1 meter. C. 1. 5 meters. Answer. B. 1 meter. Maintaining a safe distance is crucial for the safety of cyclists. Question 50. True or false? You are required to signal when exiting a roundabout. Answer. True. Signaling when exiting a roundabout informs other drivers of your intentions and improves traffic flow. Question 51. What should you do if you are being tailgated? A. Tap your brakes to warn the tailgater. B. Slow down and encourage the tailgater to pass. C. Increase your speed to create more distance. Answer. B. Slow down and encourage the tailgater to pass. This can help alleviate the situation safely. Question 52. When are you allowed to cross a solid yellow line on the road? A. To pass a slower vehicle. B when turning into a driveway or side street. C. It is never legal to cross a solid yellow line. Answer. B. When turning into a driveway or side street. 
Solid yellow lines generally indicate no passing, but you may cross them to turn. Question 53, true or false? You must always stop for a pedestrian at a marked crosswalk. Answer, true. Pedestrians have the right of way at marked crosswalks. Question 54, how long must new drivers hold a learner's license before they can take a road test for a novice license in Saskatchewan? A, six months. B, nine months. C, 12 months. Answer, B, nine months. This period allows new drivers to gain experience under various driving conditions. Question 55. When driving in foggy conditions, what lights should you use? A. High beams. B. Low beams. C. Fog lights, if available, otherwise low beams. Answer. C. Fog lights, if available, otherwise low beams. High beams can reflect off the fog and reduce visibility. Question 56. True or false? You are allowed to park on a bridge or in a tunnel. Answer. False. Parking in these locations can cause traffic hazards and is typically prohibited. Question 57. What should you do if you approach an intersection and the traffic lights are not working? A. Proceed with caution. B. Treat it as a four-way stop. C. Treat it as a yield sign. Answer. B. Treat it as a four-way stop. This helps maintain an orderly flow of traffic. Question 58. What is the speed limit in school zones in Saskatchewan during school hours? A. 30 km per hour. B. 40 km per hour. C. 50 km per hour. Answer. A. 30 km per hour. Reduced speed limits in school zones help ensure the safety of children. Question 59. True or false? You are required to report any collision to the police where the total damage exceeds $1,000. Answer, false. In Saskatchewan, the threshold for mandatory reporting is $2,000. Question 60. What does a solid white line on the road indicate? A, traffic traveling in the same direction. B, traffic traveling in opposite directions. C, lane changing is allowed. Answer, A. Traffic traveling in the same direction. A solid white line typically indicates lanes traveling in the same direction and discourages lane changes. 